Welcome back, everybody. Happy fall. Welcome back to another episode of Making Some Art with Miss Yaritza. So today we are going to learn how to make mandalas with the awesome kit that was given to you by Mrs. Herder and by Miss Peyton. Inside that kit you will find a ruler like I am using right now and some colored pencils as well as a fine tip marker. So you will start off by making a square that is going to be four inches on each side. Then you are going to mark the center. So I measured out two inches because that is the center and that is where I drew my first dot. Next, we are going to make a dot at 4 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths, and one and a half inches. And those measurements are included in the video. So you can look at them to reference them. Now you're going to do that on the right, on the left, up and down until you get something like a T. And now you're going to write. No, you're not going to write. You are going to make a line through them just like so. Make a line. And then I decided to do the same thing, but actually I grabbed a marker and I made a dot wherever I needed to mark it up and it just made things go so much more smoothly. So I would recommend you do that as well just to make things go a little bit faster for you. You don't have to measure out each dot. And then you do the same thing, diagonal. And this might be a little hard. I don't know why, but it was a little hard for me. Um, so I was erasing because I wanted to make the line go through all the dots. But you know what? If it doesn't happen, it's okay. Just move your dots over a little bit. That's what I did. But eventually, you'll get there. You can see me struggle. Or you can fast forward to later. Whatever you want. I will struggle in a little bit. But I wanted you to see that as a somewhat wise woman of my time, by the name Hannah Montana, once said, Nobody is perfect. I got to work it again and again until I get it right. And that's what I did. So eventually you'll get something that looks like this. And then you're going to start to draw a circle. Draw circles and connect those dots. And you do that for each one. And that's why it was important to kind of measure them out and have them in the approximately the same area. And you would be surprised at how calming it was. And I was honestly all very surprised at how nice my circles turned out without a compass. Very impressive. I really like that. So it's gonna look like a dartboard, and that's when you start drawing your design for your mandala. So I made a little flower in the center. You can really start it off however you want, but I made a flower. I would use the circle as a guide so that you don't get lost in the sauce with your drawing. Whatever you do in one section, you gotta do to the next section. And that's the beauty of mandalas. And feel free to rotate your page as necessary to get it done. Uh, now it started looking more like a flower. Um, I really liked these, actually. They kind of added a little oomph. A little oomph, then some circles. Yeah, just go with the flow. Um, think outside the box. I know it's in a box, but think outside of it and make uh, some leaves, kind of. And you are going to be either doing this with your pen or with your colored pencils. Um, I just use pen because I 
uh, just wanted it to really pop and then I was going to color it in. And th those are my colors that I'm going to use. You can use the colored pencils. You can also use your own markers. I just use these pens because I just have them handy. I love stationery. So here I go. Um, I made some little squiggles that you will see later that really remind me of eggs. And I was just really into those little eggy boys. Um, you will see them. And when you do, you will not forget them. No matter how much you try. Because they kind of look like aliens. Like eggs with little antennas. Now, with the magic of the internet, I'm going to do a little magic to fast forward and no one's going to make fun of my transition. And there you have it, a perfectly doodled in mandala. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.